um hello uh welcome back to my channel i have a new music video for you new record collection well not record collection this is a quarantine vinyl haul this is all the records that i've accumulated the last seven months so yeah uh quite ridiculous now that i'm holding them all <laughs> in my hands but i've been getting asked why i don't record more like music related stuff answer is i don't know <laughs> So obviously this is going to be a long video. I'm going to be linking all the places that I shop from in the information bar below so you can check them out. Some places are local to me, others are not. So, so I'm just going to go through the records that I've purchased. Some are new, some are not. Some I just wanted to own on, on record because I actually enjoy the full album from beginning to end. So the first one, Arctic Monkeys. Uh, this is probably a very Tumblr... Uh, Tumblr record. I feel like this was the soundtrack of almost every Tumblr girl's um, girl's life in 2013. The next record is Brandon Flowers' Flamingo. This was Brandon's very first solo record. I personally like it, especially Only the Young. I feel like that should be in the Killers like set list because it's that good and it's very Killers-esque. So I don't know why they don't play that. <laughs> They should, but I, I like this album. Some people were not a fan of it. I love Brandon Flowers. I feel like everybody knows that. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot outside. But yeah, I finally got this. I only had it on CD. Only had it on CD. I, uh, yeah. It was about time I had this in my record collection. The next record is another old record. This is from the early 2000s. This is Chairlift. I needed this in order to complete my chairlift slash Caroline Polichuk record collection. So this is their very first album, Does You Inspire You? You probably remember <laughs> the song, Bruce's, because they used to be in the old, was it in the uh, iPod commercials? I think it was in like the old iPod commercials. It's a very just, <laughs> it's a weird song, but very catchy. Uh, I love it. I love Chairlift. I love Caroline Polichuk, so I had to buy this one. It's probably my least favorite of Chairlift's Chairlif album, but you need this in order to see how much they progressed in the last two albums they released. The next album is from Christine and the Queens. This is her EP called La Vida, La Vita Nova, and it's amazing. It's incredible. There's also a short film up on YouTube that I highly recommend. And there is a collaboration with Caroline Polichuk, talking about Caroline Polichuk. So I saw that this was pressed <laughs> and I had to get it. And then we have Daft Punk Discovery. Um, probably my personal favorite Daft Punk record because this is the first one I discovered as a 10 year old so I felt like it was about time that I owned this on record I still I only have two Daft Punk records um, I don't have the best of luck finding them at a decent price they're usually overpriced so that's why I have been holding off and I do already own most of their stuff on CD so that's why I'm not like rushing to get something that is overpriced but I had to pick this up. I found it at a decent price and I just love this album from beginning to end. I love Interstellar 5555. That's my favorite movie of all time. Um, it is an anime movie. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. I used to watch that. I used to stay up super late uh, to watch it on uh, Cartoon Network. They had like a whole section um, of programming. I forgot what it was called, but it was it was during midnight. It was like really late into, <laughs> into the night and I would just stay up to watch Intercella 5555. So yeah, random fact. So this was released during quarantine. This is Dua Lipa's brand new album, Future Nostalgia. Amazing record. It's probably, not probably, it is one of the best pop records of the last maybe 10 years, I would say. I, I mean, that's pretty bold. <laughs> But the last pop record that felt like it was just done to perfection was probably either Madonna's Music on the Dance Floor or Katy Perry's Teenage Dream. Those two are also perfect pop records and this one is amazing. Um, very, like the title suggests, Future Nostalgia. There's sounds that remind you of the past but it feels very modern at the same time. So I love this. I love Dua Lipa. I have since before her 
first record came out. So it feels amazing to see her succeed at this level. So highly recommend. And it's a good record to own because every single song is really good. So then we have another record that was released during quarantine. This is Empress Of. She, this is her brand new record. If you don't know who Empress Of is, she is a Honduran American singer. I loved her last album. This one's also really good. I would say this is in the indie pop realm, but her songwriting is very unique and her style of producing is also very unique. So if you haven't checked it out, check her out. And her mom does a lot of her dresses. I love her mom's just eye for unique textures and colors so <laughs> random fact but this is her brand new album highly recommend so this is one of my classic albums well classic in terms of albums that shaped my taste in music so this came out in also high school just like the chairlift album this is spiced and it's the reminder very classic album also another song that ended up in <laughs> ipod commercials so if you remember one two three four was in the ipod commercials i just love this album this feels like i'm getting a hug from an old friend so yeah i just i needed it in my life going back to quarantine releases high and released their best record yet <laughs> so this is women in music part three I was not expecting to love this as much as I do, especially since I wasn't a huge fan of their second release, but they they redeemed themselves and they've gone like, you know, they surpassed themselves. And I really, really love this album. It's, it's nice, it's catchy, it's chill, it's very Californian, and it's just everything that I loved from Haim, but better. I also picked up their first record because I didn't own it, on vinyl so this is days are gone i love their debut album there's it's super good this is also reminds me of my tumblr years <laughs> a lot uh, i met them actually while they were touring for this album they're the nicest coolest girls like the way you see them on social media that's how they act in real life <laughs> so super chill super down to earth like no fuss like yeah i'll take a picture with you and they just they're super cool so it's nice to see cool down to earth people release some cool music and you know get successful so the next album is from Gai Uchis. she's one of my favorite singers and she is colombian i uh, I'm in love with her. I'm just in love with how cool and, like she is effortlessly cool without even trying She's just like I want to be you <laughs> like why can't I be you? I saw her video that she did with on Vogue's channel and she just seems like such a Such a nice person like I just want to be your friend so bad. So this is her album isolation I love it. If you haven't heard it do so um I did recreate her makeup look a few months ago during the beginning of quarantine so that was a lot of fun and they're almost the same colors <laughs> look at that so we got Kali Uchis and Lord Melodrama uh I when this came out I didn't really love it at first but then once uh once my boyfriend at the time broke up with me kind of understood the songs a little bit better so I was able to appreciate it more and now um i still really appreciate it i started listening to it a lot during quarantine and it just spoke to me <laughs> so i had to get this as well another album from my tumblr years this is the english riviera by metronomy another album that i personally feel like it's perfect <laughs> and metronomy is such a fun band to see live i wish they would tour more uh i was i wanted to catch them this past tour although they were not coming to san diego but they're a band that i would i wouldn't mind traveling to see them <laughs> because they're not that good but this album amazing perfection i love it so the next album is from another band that i feel like helped shaped me not only my personality but helped helped me accept parts of my life um that i was kind of ashamed or just hiding deep inside. So this is their album, Hissing Fauna, Are You the Destroyer? Uh, it looks like this. The album itself is weird. I feel like Off Montreal is one of those 
weird bands but if you're an introverted person who is a little bit in eccentric on the inside and is just dying to bust out and you know express yourself i feel like this is the band for you uh i felt accepted i felt like my weirdness was accepted by off montreal and especially if you go to a concert you can dress up however you want you can have glitter all over your face uh, you can just be as weird as you want and you just feel accepted but by, by not only their music but just by the people in the audience <laughs> it's weird but it's definitely one of those um, albums it's fun but it's also if you take a closer look into the lyrics um, it's pretty deep and a lot of it's a little depressing but if you're someone who's just a weirdo that wants to feel accepted, um, check this out. It's an old record. I mean, this was from was the MySpace years, I feel like. Um, it's one of my personal favorite from Off Montreal, so I would highly recommend it. Now let's go to The Strokes. Uh, the Strokes released an album earlier in quarantine that I just fell in love with. So I wanted to start collecting some of their older records. So we have... Uh, we have this guy right here, Room on Fire. We have this guy right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, going back, I've done a lot of uh, going back to old albums and revisiting them during quarantine. So that explains these two. And then this is their brand new album, which I personally really, really love. Abnormal. The new Abnormal. It, it's so weird that this came out during quarantine because this whole time it has felt like the new abnormal it's just a weird ass time to be living in and thank you the strokes for coming out with the perfect quarantine album can't wait to see them next year hopefully at outside lands i bought <laughs> i bought it past i don't know why i just wanted something to like look forward to can you blame me? <laughs> I needed to complete my St. Vincent collection with Mass Education. So this is Mass, edu mass Seduction. <laughs> mass Seduction, but toned down with piano and it's just a reworked version of uh, Mass, Mass, oh my god, Mass Seduction. But yeah, it's Mass Education, okay? Mass Education. So um, we're almost towards the end, which is cool. <laughs> uh, before quarantine, I literally days before lockdown began i went to see tame and paula in concert it was one of the best concerts i had uh i have had the chance to see in person it was the very first concert after you know after uh not currents after <laughs> this gem the slow rush came out so yeah it was the first time trying out the songs live i was just like <laughs> i wasn't even high but i was just high on life high on music it was beautiful just <sighs> it's the last like super happy memory i have of just normalcy before all of this began so we do have the slow rush i personally love it and then we have currents which is their m most mainstream album but i freaking love it as well Oh, damn it, Impala. I miss you guys. I miss you, Kevin Parker and the band. Pons, I miss you guys as well. I miss everyone. I miss the audience. I miss just going to concerts. So last but not least, we have another one of my favorite bands. We have Tennis. So they reissued their first two albums. So I had to buy them, obviously. So this is Young and Old and Cape Dory, which are just super adorable albums if i can say so and then this is their latest release that also came out during quarantine so this is swimmer which i love i love the album art as well they look amazing so that's it that's it for my quarantine uh vinyl haul i've been buying a lot of records as you can as you can see let me know what you have purchased down in the comment section below i obviously don't have too many uh too many ideas in my head of music related or record related content that i can put up so if you have some ideas share them with me in the comments below subscribe if you're brand new to my channel and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video i'm gonna put these back all right
Bye. <laughs>